Hi everybody, it's Heidi from Wellness Mummy. How are you all? I just wanted to touch base with you guys today and talk to you about being organized and why it's so important and you know how, different ways you can be organized. Now in Australia all the kids have just gone back to school this week and I can hear a lot of mums going yeehaw, thank you grandma because School holidays can be a bit stressful and especially nowadays when mums are working and you know there's so many things to do and I have four children and I really like to make memories over the holidays and you know do things that we don't normally do but with running three different businesses and having four kids and you know still wanting to achieve goals that I've set for myself it can be really hard. But I have to say to you being organised and getting myself organised has made such a massive difference to all of the things that I'm able to achieve. Now this is the thing, last year and, and, and other previous years, you know, it's we get I get up, I get the kids up, we have breakfast, the kids run about, and, you know, make your bed, get dressed, brush your teeth, pack your bag, blah, blah, blah. And, it, and that's all fine, but it just feels like, you know, we get out of the car and we get to school and it's like, quick, quick, the bell's about to go. And it's just that rushed stressful time and then I drop the kids to school you know but you know give them all a kiss and off they go and then it's like oh now what have I got to do and it's just that constant fight or flight you know going 100 miles an hour but I have to say to you the last they've only been at school for two days so Thursday and Friday and look I may do a video in a week going ah oh, it didn't work but at this point we have had the mornings so the kids I'm waking the kids up and we've had extra time. Yesterday we rode our bikes to school and that was just such an awesome thing to do with the kids. And if it wasn't that I was organized and had my routines in place, it wouldn't be able to be done. So I wanted to share today with you guys about, you know, getting yourselves organized and, you know, some really simple things that you can do to make sure that your mornings run really well and they run smoothly and they're calm and then when you say goodbye to your babies in the morning at school or childcare or kinder or wherever they go it's not that stressed hurry up hurry up you know you've actually had time to talk to them and that kind of thing so today I want to talk about a night routine so I have a night routine that I do every night. Well, I've actually got three routines. I have a morning routine, an afternoon routine, and an evening routine. Now, my evening routine over the last couple of days when the kids have been at school has made a huge difference to us having the time in the morning. So I've had the lunches made. I make sure my sink is done. It's Everything's washed up, dried up, put away. It's shiny, because I like shiny sinks. So that's shiny. Um, I do a quick tidy up of the house and I'm talking five minutes. It's, you know, tear around, pick stuff up, put it away. Um, I also have little buckets, like they're kind of collapsible buckets that you can get from Target or Kmart. And I, everybody has a bucket in our house and I put everyone's stuff in the bucket so that they, they're responsible for taking that and putting it away. So I tear about chuck everything in if anything's anyone's stuff's lying around and they just sit in the counter in the laundry and so the house is neat the, the lunches are made um, any preparation if I'm doing overnight oats or something healthy for breakfast it's in the fridge and this may take me 15 minutes but the 15 minutes I'm spending at night is giving me an hour in the morning and I'm not kidding when I say that the kids are ready at the moment in 30 minutes and that's unheard of and I am as well now the other thing I do at night is I get my things ready for what I want to do in the morning. So I like to get up before my family and I like to tick off a few things whether it's um, a bit of reading or running or a bit of yoga or a bit of work if I'm going to catch up with a friend later for a walk to get some activity in for myself. <clears throat> and so I get my stuff ready the night before. So if it's running I get my gear out, if it's going to, I'm going to work. I take my computer downstairs because my office is upstairs near the bedrooms. So I get my stuff set up so that when I do get up, I can have a drink of water and sit down and get into what I want to do. And that has made a big difference. And then my morning routine is, obviously I get up before everybody else. I get stuff sorted. Now before I wake up the kids, I get the breakfast stuff out so that it's not, what do you want for breakfast? You know, it's there. Choose what's out. That's what you're eating today as long as it's healthy. And then, and the kids now get ready 
Uh, so they get out of bed, they get dressed, they make their bed, and then they come downstairs to eat. And that's half the battle because I don't know about you, but once the kids have their brekkie, they come down in their jammies and they have their brekkie and they go back upstairs, that's when it all turns crazy because they start to play. You know, they'll throw teddies at each other or they'll, you know, he took this or she And it's just kind of distracting. But once they're downstairs, they're dressed, their beds are made, all they have to do is clean up, help clean up and do their morning chores pack their school bags, brush their teeth and get their hair done and we're ready to go. So I just really wanted to touch base with you about that and I want you to try those things. I want you just have a go at it. Just try it out. Sit down with a piece of paper and write a list of things that you could do in the evening that would help you set up your day so that your day runs well in the morning. It could be something like um, you have to post a letter. Get the letter out, put it where it needs to be so that in the morning you're not tearing around going, why is that letter? So set yourself up in the evening, write yourself a list, put it in place. And the next morning, same, write a list, have a list of things you do in the morning. Um, as, oh, and another thing I do in the morning, I have the washing ready to go. So the washing is ready and then I just have to hang it out because I put it on the night before. Little things like that. It's those tiny little routines in your life that can help you be organized, help you be calm and give you more time. And that's really what I'm trying to do is to help you find time so that you as a mum can look after you. You can exercise, you can find those things that, you know, fill your cup and, and you know, have your passion that's not just your family and really look after your own health and well-being. I want you to have a great day and I will see you again soon. But, you know, you can follow me on Wellness Mummy on Facebook um, or also Wellness Mummy on Instagram. And uh, we've got also Wellness Mummy Boot Camp is a boot camp that I run for mums to be able to find time and to be able to find, um, you know, try all those new wellness, you know, woo-woo talk things that are out there and about, you know, learn about meditation and green juice and whole foods and, you know, goal setting and all that kind of stuff to help mums out. But I hope you have a great day and I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you get organized because, you know, to ride to school was so cool and... I dropped the kids off and they were little faces were happy and I'd spent time with them too before I went to work and it was it was good and I'd love you to have that as well. Have a great day.